Bangladesh is a remarkable story. Always very proud to say this, that I don't think any other country has achieved what we have in the social and economic sphere. In 45 years, after a very, very difficult start to our independent existence after our war of liberation, we all know what we had then and we can now see what we have now. Bangladesh has performed quite well in terms of if we look at uh, some of the indicators. Uh, GDP growth rate and in, even in some cases like reduction in poverty, women empowerment and in some health and education indicators. There is a big plan of the government to set up 100 plus special economic zones uh, in the country to attract foreign investments. Bangladesh is in an accelerated move of having a lot of uh, hard infrastructure investment. You look at the large projects, uh, the metro rail, the uh, energy hub in Matarbari, these are all uh, very highly capital intensive uh, investments. If we do not have um, uh, software skills development, uh, good managers, who's going to run these big uh, uh, projects? There's a huge bottleneck in terms of the um at the level of the managerial and executive levels in the private sector. So unfortunately, even though the business is growing, uh, many of those positions are occupied by expats. So that means a significant loss in terms of potential incomes uh, being currently exported out in the form of remittances. For instance, let's say in Singapore Management University, they're offering a program on women executive leadership. Whereas in Bangladesh, we don't really find such programs available offered to students or, let's say, young professionals here. There is a serious lack of professional training facilities. There are several thousand jobs, maybe uh, more than a hundred thousand jobs, which have been taken up by non-residents working in Bangladesh. We are pursuing dual goal. One is Agenda 2030 for sustainable development. We achieved MDG, we would like to achieve and we shall achieve SDG. So for us, the starting point is really the, the sustainable development goals. So as you noted, the government, the, the country, Bangladesh, has made a very uh, remarkable progress in achieving MDGs and now they are committed to achieve the sustainable development goals as well. So UNDP is here to support the country to achieve that uh, very noble uh, objective. Where I am concerned, the decent uh, job uh, and inclusive growth I think uh, the platform we are planning to set up, a center for excellence for managerial and professional education, is very key. If we review SDG goal 8, 4, 5, these are actually related to uh, mitigating uh, the problems uh, which uh, underpin the lack of managerial capacity in our country. The fourth industrial revolution uh, is, is almost here in Bangladesh. Bangladesh is preparing for the future. And as part of that, we are to respond to the challenges coming from the fourth industrial revolution. We have to prepare ourselves with knowledge. We have to prepare ourselves with adoption of technology. We have to prepare ourselves with adequate infrastructure that comes with it, including information technology infrastructure, internet, and other facilities and ultimately knowledge with the fundamental building block for fourth industrial revolution. Bangladesh has made some important progresses over the last few decades. Uh, the challenges are enormous in future, especially with the emergence of automation and artificial intelligence. Now the fourth industrial revolution is just uh, at the doorstep. Uh, and then the country has to prepare itself for these challenges. But the question is whether the country is ready now to encounter these challenges and whether the strategies or the policies, whether they are in place to take up these challenges. The developed countries are really afraid to meet the fourth industrial revolution challenges and they are taking preparation in line with the innovation, etc. But the country like us, we are not actually uh, taking much preparation because we have lack of skilled managers. Lots of new innovations are going to come in uh, our biotech and agribusiness industries. But what could not be done by the robot is the design, the thinking, the emotion, the next job area, the next work area is all our collaboration. There will be no individualism. 
so people has to have more skill in people skill team building leading the team and others and importantly we are falling behind in all these things by the year 2030 2 billion jobs will have vanished it is an alarming kind of statistics but why i say this is by vanishing is that the nature of the jobs will change so we have to develop the skill level of the workforce we have to develop we have to kind of create a huge uh, pool of uh, you know skill labor who can take the this technological development or advancement agenda forward uh, we have very intelligent young boys and girls who are uh, crossing the world rankings in a levels and o levels so we have a educated class but these need to be trained every year we are remitting five to now they say 6 billion dollar for foreign professionals and managers Yes, we need them, but what about our, our uh, young boys and girls? They not aspire to be CEOs and CFOs and chief information officers. We need to build them up. The young population and in schools and colleges and universities, work-related skills such as innovative thinking, leadership, management skills, all these are given less priority. and books and theoretical aspects are given more priority you have to bring a lot of experience into the class and how do you do that either you train your faculty you send them in the special specialized area you know give them the time to learn about it and then they come to the classroom and teach about it or you bring the expertise from the respective fields and uh, you ask them to uh, you know share their experience however it is uh, rather unfortunate that Uh, we still have lot of difficulties in filling in those jobs with professionals who are born and bred in Bangladesh and educated in Bangladesh many of the leading firms or sectors in Bangladesh they are actually seriously lacking managers originating from Bangladesh and they are hiring managers from outside of the country we need to train our people we need to impart the right training for the right skills we need to reskill uh, our mid and senior level executives and enable them to think differently think out of the box so once a graduate coming from university he should take some basic courses of managerial courses in a professional institutions and that professional institutions will link him with industry but we need diversification of our export basket we need diversification of the whole economy and the diversification should not just rely on low skill labor when you're talking about a professional development institute wherever it might be chitagong or anywhere else the point is there's got to be a mass exchange of information bangladesh employers federation is very happy in trying to find out how a center of excellence can be developed once this is done uh, i'm sure we'll be able to create uh, a cadre of highly skilled Uh, highly motivated and highly efficient mid and senior level professionals the process has started now having a good manager is like changing the direction of the company bangladesh has all the important ingredients to succeed in ensuring robust private sector but i think there are several things that we can still learn from other developed countries in terms of um, policies and uh, things that we can do to create this kind of enabling environment for the private sector and for us this is to do with knowledge management including good research and also um promoting innovation and we hope that this proposed uh, center for excellence will be able to play an important role in promoting all these things we need to uh, generate or create that huge pool of managers who can take these jobs in different sectors so in that context uh, i think that the establishment of a center of excellence uh, which can help uh, building the capacity of the managers when i talk about this center of excellence in chitagong i always make an appeal to the private sector to come forward so that we can have an ecosystem when knowledge management will be part as i said this will be a building block for the future of bangladesh and this initiative that uh, the government is encouraging us to take is going to be beneficial every country has this kind of institutions and we 
definitely needed for our future leaders, both in private sector as well as in the government. South Asia Institute of Management uh, will uh, make cross-fertilization in uh, developing the skills in the level of managers from private sector as well as from the public sector. More integration. I spoke about integration of meritocracy. Here also we need coordinated work, we need integrated work, and we need to move very quickly. This set of excellence can be a kind of game changer. Because if it is properly institutionalized, if it's properly established and managed, and is properly handled, then it can cater the demand for many of the challenges which are coming up for Bangladesh in many of the sectors. I am happy to see that uh, South Asian Institution of uh, Management is going to be established in Chittagong with the support of development partners, initiative of private sectors, and also government has given support. NSDA will give support in any regulatory framework through giving registration and approval of other uh, instruments to deliver the necessary courses. Mm -hmm.